I like that. Let's take a look at your response. Did you come up with the right one? No? What is we love you out? That's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> more people are asking about pancreatic cancer. More people are asking what it is, how it's treated, how someone can be diagnosed with it. We're definitely seeing an uptick in awareness since Alice Trebek's diagnosis in March of this year. You know, and that's what's really coming about is people watch Jeopardy, people see him on Facebook. He's really in our homes every night, and he's probably the most famous face of pancreatic cancer to date because he is in our homes every single night. I don't know about you, but I grew up with him. I watched him almost every night at home. It's one of my favorite shows. So people do. That's what they do. They call and they ask, well, Alex Trebek has this. Is this something that could be happening to me, to my family? And I think more and more that we talk about it, we're finding that more people are they are affected by pancreatic cancer. You know, so many people, cancer is such a bad word, we don't talk about it, we whisper it, we're, and then you get pancan involved, and we're like, no, let's shout about it, let's raise awareness, let's talk about it. And I know in my personal life, I'm finding more people are, you know, it is impacted. They impact so many, so many families, both men and women. Um, it's multi-generational, multicultural. Um, there's so much information on pancan.org that can help you kind of feel that out. The symptoms can be very vague, um, as simple as nausea, jaundice, um, upset stomach, stomach pain, back pain. They're very vague symptoms, which is really what it comes down to is you have to be your own advocate. If you think something is wrong, you need to talk to your doctor and really press for the test because there is no one test for pancreatic cancer.